hi my people it's so good to be back here again thank you so much for tuning in and i hope you're having a nice time it's been a serious protest in nigeria regarding the entire protest and uh, it hasn't stopped because of course nigerians wants the uh, nigerian youth want this to be a fight of once and for all because uh, you don't want to go back into slavery and uh, you know being dependent on their tax masters because the way things seem in Nigeria seem like uh, uh, it's become a land of slavery where nobody can you know challenge the authority of the day and uh, Nigerian youth felt or feels that this has to stop but of course as the protest has been going on for some days now the UN has decided to speak about uh, the NSAS campaign that is the United Nations and of course uh, I'll bring you more details on that shortly. But before then, guys, please, if you have not subscribed to Saffron Media, please hit the red subscribe button down below and also give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell because that is the only way you get notified anytime we drop a new video. All right, guys, thank you for all you do. And thank you so much for your support so far on this channel. Okay, let us dive right in and hear what the United Nations have to say about the NSAS protest that's been going on for days now. The United Nations UN on Tuesday appealed to NSAS protesters to remain peaceful. UN resident coordinator in Nigeria, Edward Cullen, made a statement via his Twitter handle, I have followed the development regarding NSAS movement. Government's commitment to dismantle the athletes and reform the police is a welcome development. The process may take time. I appeal to the youth to remain peaceful. The United Nations reiterated its support for Nigerian solidarity and commended the preparedness of the federal government to effect reforms. And on his tweet, he said, I have followed the development regarding NSAS movement Government's commitment to dismantle the outfit and reform police Nigeria is welcome. The process may take time. I appeal to the youth to remain peaceful. The UN is committed to supporting Nigerians' continued stability. And meanwhile, it's uh, another related development. A sports utility vehicle SUV on Wednesday ran into a crowd of NSAS protesters at Alabado a Lagos suburb reportedly killing two persons and leaving others injured. And I'm very sure you're aware of uh, some of the thugs that, uh, you know, try to uh, disturb the uh, peaceful protest that was going on in Lagos and Abuja. And uh, good to know that some of these thugs were actually captured and beaten and taken to police station. And uh, the same happened in Abuja. And I think... Uh, that is a very welcome development because the protest has been very peaceful in the past few days until talks invaded the protest and decided to want to destroy the peaceful protest that Nigerian youths have been carrying on. And a video cited on the mic on cited showed that two lifeless bodies being carried away by some NSAS protesters in the area. After the sad incident, a volunteer of medical call was developed was deployed especially around Amikale area to take care of the wounded before those who were severely injured were moved to Kavesbury Hospital. Another eyewitness says the silver SUV deliberately ran into the protesters in a bid to scare them off the road, a development which saw an angry mob descend on the SUV, as well as a tricycle involved in the accident. As at the time of this report, the driver of the vehicle is yet to be identified. So it has been a serious uh, battle for the young protesters in Nigeria because of course, now that uh, some thugs are being sponsored to destroy things, to destroy lives of this young one, I wonder how this is going to end because definitely the youths are not ready to leave uh, the streets anytime soon. And uh, they want to see action. They are not ready for any form of uh, you know dialogue at the moment because your dialogue without action does not make any sense because the Nigerian government is so good at dialoguing and at the end of the day, they still return back to normal. Things do not change. Things still go back to the way they used to be. And this time around, the youth in Nigeria are ready for this. And they are saying 
that until they see that a lot of these things are being implemented that they have requested, that is the only time they will leave the streets. And funny enough, you can see that some of the schools that were closed down and even the NYC camp, that is the Niger uh, National Youth Service Corp, where uh, uh, young men and women have to serve their country for one year, had to start resuming because, of course, they are trying to take some of the youths of the streets so that uh, there won't be chance for more protests. But I can tell you that the way things have been going and with what we have been carrying and, uh, you know, the interviews that we have on some of those young guys, they don't seem to look like they are leaving the streets anytime soon. And it is very, very encouraging to see that things must change in Nigeria and to ensure that there's safety of lives and property. And this police br brutality must have to end. And now I feel that the police should have to see light with uh, the youths in Nigeria because they are not just fighting for themselves, they are fighting for even the police force to ensure that they have good pay so that they won't have to, you know, start taking money from, you know, uh, uh, commuters of the road and even those uh, commercial drivers and the likes. You know, they don't have to take bribes and all of that. But it seems they've not seen it from that point of view, but rather they are still fighting against the protesters. So it is wise enough that they understand that this fight is not just for the youth, it is also for them. Because at the end of the day, their salaries will be increased and where they live will be more conducive for every one of them. Because if you see the police barracks in Nigeria, it looks like where they, you know, raised mad men. Because the places are always, you know, out of it, that it is so irritating and is in a bad state. So these are some of the things that the Nigerian government really have to work on. There's a lot and so many things that has to be worked on in Nigeria. And I believe the youth will ensure that these things are put in place because definitely if they go back home without achieving what they want, then it will not be a thing of shame. But of course, I know there's no going back and there's no backing out in this very uh, time. Well, it is good that others are beginning to see uh, the importance of what the Nigerian youths are doing because they want Nigeria to be a better place and a better country for everyone to live in and to stay. Because definitely these days all you see is young men and women leaving the country and living, looking for greener pastures outside the shores of their homes, which is not right. Employment on employment is the order of the day that Nigerians cannot even get employment in their own country, which is bad. So these are the things they are actually fighting for. And I believe we should all put hands together and also support these young men and women to ensure that Nigeria becomes a better place and a better home for all. So guys, thank you so much for listening. And the UN, thank you for being a support system also. We appreciate you. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also share this video. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.